Yeah, how y'all doing? It's almost good afternoon. Huh? It's almost good afternoon. Oh, uh, yeah. Good afternoon, y'all. Yeah. Javon, how'd it feel to get back out there? Uh, it felt great just knowing to be out there back with my teammates, but just, just be, being out there, you know what I'm saying? Just helping out the team and just getting back chemistry to the door is great. How do you guys avoid the, the slow starts as you've had the last couple weeks? <clears throat> uh, we just got to pick it up just knowing going out there. We're a tempo team. We just got to go out there, fire it up, not just like a days ago as a team. Just going this week, you'll see us getting better, getting better and, and better. Just, just things like that. How, impor how important is focus with that? It feels like, I mean, if things don't go right for you and you're running the hyper tempo, you can race yourself kind of off of the field. Do you have to be extra dialed in for jump three? Uh, of course, you got to be focused going into a game like this because this is a big game. Like last game, I feel like we wasn't focused as much as this game. This game, we, just, we're taking practice more serious and just more focused is going into the game. Just more, we've got a big powerhouse team coming in, ranked and stuff like that. We're just trying to get back on the map. Is that because last week was a wake-up call? Uh, not so much. We just weren't focused as we're like this. Like last week, we we're more. The week before that, we we're more focused than this than last week. This week, we're taking it more preparation and stuff like that. Javon, Shador has such a confidence and a uh, magnetism to him. What makes him so magnetic? What What makes him such a good leader? Uh, just him going in every day, just making sure he get reps with his receivers, knowing where we're supposed to be at. We don't know something, we're doing it over. Just things like that. He just is. His leadership on his team is everything to us. Just him leading the team and going out, just being him, basically. What does he say in the huddle, you know, when things are getting tough last week? He just especially? tell us he just tell us lock in, keep playing, you just keep fighting through everything. Don't quit on it. Just keep going. That's what we do. Javon, it seemed like Terrell Owens kinda of took you under his wing when he's been out here. What what has that relationship been like? What what have you learned from him? I learned a lot from him, basically. Just when he came out here, just talking to me, letting me know how to use my body and stuff like that. He's just a, a bigger receiver just like me. So I watched him growing up. So I'm trying to learn the same techniques he did on the field. Just being a tough guy, like he played in a, in a uh, Super Bowl with a broken leg. I'm just trying to, he's telling me fight through it. It's, it's not, it's not going to be easy, but you got to do it. You mentioned T.O. Have you ever been starstruck with some of the dudes that come through here when you've got all these Hall of Famers? <laughs> just it's like a run of it. I mean, when I first got here, it was it was I was starstruck, but just knowing he brings Coach Prime brings in everybody, it's, it's kind of coming to be normal. You got to treat him like they're a normal person as well. Just how do you, how you talk to him, how you go around him, and stuff like that. So I see him as just guidance, guide me in a, in the right way. Other than T.O., who's the coolest celebrity you've met uh, here? Just basically, what I want to say is rapper wise, probably like. Quavo or Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is from my city, so that's one. But other than that, T.O. would be my biggest because I, I grew up watching him. So he's been a big influence on me just being there. Do other guys tell you it's not normal to have, like, WWE dudes and Hollywood <laughs> people come in to practice? I'm sure other, team, other guys you play are like, you met who? You yeah. met who? Yeah. I mean, no, nah, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not normal just seeing, waking up, you about to see Mark Henry. You know what I'm right. saying? It's <laughs> stuff like that. It's, it's not normal. But it's fun to watch and see them and see what they're about to say to the team. Javon, with all the sacks that um, basically, just make sure it gets, gets our depth in the route faster, basically, so you can just get the ball out quicker. What has to happen for you guys to get back to the offense you guys were against, against CCU when you won? Uh, just picking up the tempo, really. Just, we're a tempo team, like I said. We just got to pick up the tempo. If we do that, teams will not be able to mess with us. Does the slow starts or just getting off to a good start, does that help help you guys a lot, just being able to get in the rhythm on the first drive? Does that boost you guys more than maybe people realize? Of course, because the faster we get out there, the faster we score, the faster we put points on the board. How do you guys bounce Last back one? from Oregon? Um, just preparation, focus. You can't go out there lack of days ago. Just being out there, just... Basically, you got to go out there focused and locked in, knowing you can't miss assignments, stuff like that. You got to go out there and just be ready to play. Like Coach Prom says, every day is going to be a new day, new, new, new day to prove yourself, basically. So that's what we got to try to do. Did you feel like it was less preparation for Oregon? No, nah, not, not that. I feel like we probably was like less focused, maybe, because everyone probably wasn't locked in. But one thing he says, everyone has to believe in what, you, what we're doing. And for, that, for, for us to win, everyone has to believe and be on the same page. And you feel that's happening more now? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Everyone's better. Everyone's locked in more and stuff like that. We all come together as a group. We see that things on the outside. We can't worry about that. We've got to be locked in on the inside because nobody knows what's going on in the house but us. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Thanks, no problem. Thanks,